channel my name is destiny and if you see my face before and you haven't subscribed yet then baby what is you doing subscribe so a little background on my skin i've never had acne prone skin or anything like that if anything i would get like little heat bumps or like my skin would get real dry my skincare routine has always been very simple i always considered myself a very low maintenance girly because i don't really like doing too much but i feel like <sighs> You know, I'm getting older. I'm turning 25 this month. The Lord has been working on me this year. It seems like this year has just had a whole theme of healing, which is crazy because pretty sure last year I said this year I wanted to focus on bettering myself and the Holy Spirit said that because that seems like what we've been doing all year. I have a mixture skin, so usually my forehead's oily and my eyelids are oily and then this area, like my cheeks and around my mouth can get really, really dry. Before, before, I used to use clean and clear, the daytime wash and the nighttime wash and then the regular daily moisturizer. Two years ago, I switched to CeraVe. So I've been using this daily moisturizer and I was actually using the different face wash by CeraVe, but I wanted to try something different. So I've been using this cleanser and I typically just use stuff that says for normal to dry skin because my skin overall is honestly fairly normal and I mean it's been working for the past few years but I've been feeling led to develop more of a routine and pampering myself. I didn't do much research. I think I'm just gonna try stuff out. I pretty much just went on TikTok and watched people with similar skin to mine and what they were using and I went on Amazon and I ordered some stuff. So I'm gonna basically show y'all what I ordered right now. I haven't unboxed them yet. So it's really giving. There's this company called Good Molecules and I pretty much got multiple of their products. So. I got the Hydrating Facial Cleansing Gel, which is a gentle cleanser to leave skin feeling balanced and hydrated. It's the version 2.0 and it tells you, I love this company because it tells you which step to use things and I don't know nothing about skincare so it's helpful to me. Step one, and it has all the ingredients listed here. One thing I am not doing is step two, which is a toner. People were saying it's not really necessary. And if it's not necessary, I'm not going to do it, which is a hydraulic acid serum. I definitely pronounced that wrong. So it says delivers deep hydration to plump the appearance of fine lines. Step three, and then ingredients. I also got this gentle retinol cream that also says it's step three and you're supposed to use it at night. These are all the ingredients. It says use up to three times weekly at night only. And I think this is like supposed to be good for like, you know, wrinkles or something. I don't know, people be saying good things about retinol. And since I'm turning 25 now, I'm officially getting old. And now step four is their lightweight daily moisturizer a perfect moisturizer for me has to be lightweight i don't like feeling like there's a lot of stuff on my face these are the four products i got i'm so excited obviously because i'm extra look i got a little headband and like things to put on your wrist so that water doesn't like go down your arm which i do hate i saw a girl on tiktok use these and start the Amazon I went. Low key, when it comes to spending money, I'm a very much easily influenced. If I see something and I feel like I need it, I'm gonna add it to the cart. Now I may not buy it right then and there, but I'm gonna get it. Hair ain't that long. Only got like about two scoops of hair right now. We still gonna do it because it adds to the plot. We are going to start with step one. The cleanser. This is a good size. This is gonna last me for a long time. This is a 200 milliliter. Trying to be aesthetic here. This ain't really working out for me. This is unscented, which I really, really like. It's, it's clear. Oh. oh. Oh, it says it's supposed to have a light lather. This lather is definitely giving light. Okay. Well, I'm gonna rinse this off and I'll be back. A few moments later. I'm back. So. First impressions, I really rock with it. Yeah, I feel like it did what it was supposed to do. I rock with it. Before I move on to step two, I just wanna talk about something that's been on my heart or while I'm doing step two. I'm gonna use this hydraulic hyaluronic 
I think I said it wrong the first time. Hyaluronic acid. I said it so wrong. I think I said hydraulic acid. One thing that has been on my heart, um, you know, last week was election week. I don't know what it is. I don't know what shifted. I don't know what happened. It's just making me want to walk in my purpose more and be more on fire for Jesus than I ever have been before. I'm just gonna do one full syringe and disperse it around. Mmm. This feels very slippery and slimy. I got this book towards the beginning of the year. It's called The Awe of God by John Bevere, but I stopped reading it because so I got carried away with life. It basically really just has me thinking because he was just talking about like heaven and basically talking about like um, your heart posture like, behind doing things like for the Lord. He was talking about like worldly judgment like for unbelievers versus like judgment for believers and how we're gonna have to take an account for pretty much everything it's not more so of like oh you done xyz wrong it's like focusing on how did you use your time like after you giving your life to the lord after knowing the truth how did you use your time did you use your time on doing things for yourself um, worried about yourself, worried about your career, basically spending your time worrying about building yourself up in the world or did you spend your time on kingdom things, focused on doing things for the Lord. And I will say, I mean, I gave my life to Christ in 2019 and I, I've gone through phases like when you first give your life to Christ, you're a little more zealous, a little more passionate and you're just telling everybody, you know, but after a while you go through things and I feel like I've kind of gotten, I've gotten less zealous over the years I feel like. Yeah, I'm gonna speak the truth, but I haven't been like making that my mission. I've been caught up in the things of like the world and like my job and like making money and you know, bills because I went through a whole like year of struggle. It's like after going through seasons of trials, my focus shifted from kingdom things and became more so focused on my circumstances. So like what I was lacking. I was unemployed for 10 months with no other streams of income. So being in that constant state of like lack, not knowing where, you know, your next meal is going to come from, not knowing how rent's going to get paid, all these things. It's like God brought me through. But now that I look back, I really wish I just used that time to focus on more kingdom. Because at the end of the day, like the Lord still came through for me. At the end of the day, I never got evicted. At the end of the day, like I'm still here. That whole time I spent worrying on bills, worrying about finding a job, worrying about myself. And I lost track of kingdom. While I should have been just putting my faith and my trust in Him. And then also being about business, posting testifying, serving in church, but I was stuck in the house being depressed. I think I'm kind of getting back to that like zealous place of where it's like I'm just about kingdom and I'm about the Lord's business and that's like my main concern. Granted, he has come through for me. You know, like, yes, I have a job. Yes, I have other responsibilities, but none of those things are above God or the things of God. That's just, I guess, one little thing I want to talk about because, yeah, I was reading that book and I was like, dang, there's been multiple season throughout my life where I feel like I've allowed circumstances to just throw my focus off of the things of the Lord and I'm not saying my circumstances just threw me off the wall completely like no I was still in relationship with the Lord I was caring about other things like marriage and relationships and finances and you know like I was diagnosed with rheumatoid arthritis and so that's something that I struggle with every day and so there's a lot of the days where I'm in pain and that becomes my main focus. I have a bad habit of just focusing on my circumstances when no matter the circumstances I should prioritize kingdom. That was my little TED talk. It said we're supposed to let it sit for 30 seconds. It was it was definitely more than 30 seconds. So now we're gonna add the retinol cream. Layering all these products is giving new for me. One thing I'm kind of hesitant about is putting oil on my face. Like I know people will be putting oils on their face. Ooh, my skin feels different. And the last step is the lightweight moisturizer. Pretty good size. This has shea butter, avocado seed oil, hy hyaluronic, hyaluronic acid. We're gonna add a little bit. You guys wanna know something I started doing too? I started mouth taping. TikTok sold me y'all. I've been doing it for about two weeks now and I'm not gonna lie, 
I can't sleep without my mouth tape. The reason I mouth tape is because I always like to sleep on my side or my stomach, but I always end up on my back and my mouth ends up open. I don't be snoring, but my problem is my mouth be open, like open. When I wake up in the morning, my mouth be so dry. And so that's why I started mouth taping. And I like it because it's breathable. It's easy to put on. It actually fits my lips. And I rock with it. It makes me sleep like a baby. And now for my lips. I go between Carmex and this. This just happens to be the one in the bathroom. I like to layer that mug on. Overall, I think this is something I'll be able to maintain. Like, truthfully, I rock with it. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Hopefully, my skin will look better after a week or so of me implementing this. If you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel, baby. And I hope you come back for more. Hey, hope you come back for more. Hey, bye. Ah!